So I've realized something today. Now, throughout my life, people have often told me uh, that I should be a teacher, and I've even considered it quite seriously for myself at one point. Um, because, I mean, I'm great with people of all ages for teaching things, because I've taught uh, young people, I've taught people my age, and I've taught uh, older people. Why I was particularly realizing this today is because I've been helping my teach my grandmother how to use her tablet, and she just was gushing over and over again about how good of a teacher I am. I'm also quite knowledgeable on a wide variety of um, information and facts and stuff like that, in a wide, a broad range of subjects. So you would think, yeah, that's great, go be a teacher, Catherine, or Kate, or however you call me. Sorry, I've been around my family more, they call me Kate, Catherine, everyone else calls me Kate. Anyways, so, yeah, I mean, the, the freaking school sy education system is not the greatest. There are plenty of problems with it. I know you're in Canada, and the States is where most of the problems are, as far as education systems go. But yeah, you can totally help things, because there were definitely problems with me growing up, as far as education goes. But here's the problem, to become a teacher, at least in Canada, or Ontario, I don't even know whether if it's the same all over Canada, anyways, you need a bachelor's degree in something, doesn't matter what, and a year of teacher's college. Now, I'm even looking at trying to afford an, uh, another year of college. Now, university, you know, bachelor's degree is three years of university, by the way, and that's like... 10 billion times more expensive than college, and I can barely, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm even going to pay for the, uh, another year of college, let alone freaking doing like four years of education, three of which are at a university. So, yeah. Now, I understand that you need to make, you know, your teachers more knowledgeable, and you gotta make sure that they have information in their heads and they're not fucking idiots, but the thing is, is that... Um, it's just, education is so damn expensive nowadays, plus the fact that, like, you can get almost any sort of information you could ever want or need or whatever on the internet for free. So, you have this, uh, problem that, that we're coming across this problem where you have a bunch of really smart people, like, these people who are very well versed on a variety of subjects or very intelligent through watching a bunch of free educational videos or reading a bunch of, you know, free educational articles or whatever the fuck. So you get these people who are very, very smart and very well educated, but they have no proof of that. They have no way of using that knowledge to get a job or further their career or whatever the hell else. And you have these people who could be p potentially fucking idiots, who don't know jack shit, who have the needed merit for a chance to get the job. Like, because... Because the thing is, is that if you don't pay a small fortune to get that education, it's useless in this society. So, you have... And, and increasingly, nowadays, more and more jobs require post-secondary education. So, like, it's getting harder and harder to not have... To, and, like, as tuition rises... Man, jobs that need that fucking post-secondary education rise as well. Like, so, you, you get these people who you either, you're stuck barely, like, on, on a wage that it's barely livable, or you pay a small fortune for a, a piece of paper that allows you to get a chance at a job with a decent living. Because the thing is, too, it's not even a guarantee if you get a fucking post-secondary education. And before you all go, like, you know, because I've been kind of saying, like, they could get fucking idiots in charge of business and uh, teaching in the classroom and fucking politics. They could be leading the country. They could be fucking idiots. Now, before you go all, like, whatever, um, you know, obviously if they have a bachelor's degree or whatever the fuck have you, obviously they can't be stupid if they got went through university and got all that. I mean, they're not going to be the freaking Id idiot bumpkin off the street who thinks, like, I don't know, like aliens live among us or some shit. I don't know. I was trying to think of some stupid stereotype, but that's not even a really any good one. Anyways, moving on. Obviously, you're not going to have some bumpkin who thinks that fucking uh, the get her done guy is a fucking genius. Or I don't- I can't think of any bumpkin stereotypes who th of stuff that they think. Anyways, you're obviously not going to get people who are like stupid, stupid, you know, graduating college, but you are getting some fucking idiots graduating college because the thing- yeah, university, rather. Because the thing is that most people, most of the kids who go to university, they aren't actually that- like, they haven't gotten any real-world world experience, and they- 
most people who are in university or like have gotten there or like passing school is through fucking bullshitting and short-term memorization because just think back if you're out of high school now or whatever just think about or if you're in high school or whatever have you just think it back to a couple years ago you know three years three five years whatever ago in your education how much of that shit that you were taught do you remember or how much of it did you just memorize so you could uh, write the test and then move on? So you have these people who have been teaching for several decades, who have gotten three years of education way back when, that they probably bullshitted because, honestly, most people, these people bullshit anyways, teaching people, or you have people in, in education or business or wherever the fuck have you, all this other, you know, high-ranking, important jobs that you kind of need to have smart people doing this. And... So, that's, like, a, a degree is not a symbol of, you know, ability at all, or intelligence, or anything like that. It's just one's ability to memorize information, but not necessarily long-term memorization, which, you know, is a, good, is a sign of intelligence, um, and the ability to bullshit things. I remember, as a kid, teachers labeling me as sometimes like the problem kid or they would always get annoyed at me or dislike me in some way shape or form because I would often correct them because I've always been the kind of person who's always looking shit up watching educational videos and television at the time before internet was really a thing um yeah I'm kind of old now I feel like it, whenever I say things like that I feel kind of old anyways like I remember you know remember Bill Nye the Science Guy um when I was like in grade 8 he was doing this thing 100 greatest discoveries I remember we'd watch that every week and we were excited for it and I learned and I soaked it right the fuck up. My little 13, 14 year old brain was soaking that shit right up. So I was correcting the fucking science teacher on this stuff because here's the problem is that if you, these teachers, whatever they got their bachelor's degree in is, has nothing to do with what they actually end up teaching. You would think that would be, you know, the way it would work, but it doesn't. It has nothing to do with it because guess what? They just get whatever they, they take whatever they can get because... Uh, there, there are just so few jobs out in the teaching field, or the teaching um, system or whatever, because you got your fucking tenure that keeps people from getting fired, and who are fucking awful teachers who shouldn't be teaching with, or whatever, or you got these fucking old teachers who just refuse to retire, and all this other stuff, so you get like very few jobs that you can get. I have known teachers who, math majors teaching drama, lit majors teaching science, so you get these people who have no idea what the fuck they're talking about teaching these people. So again, you get people who are completely unqualified teaching all of this shit. So it's fucking bullshit. Not to mention, like, we all know how fucking idiotic a lot of politicians are, or even if you've worked at somewhere, you have that fucking guy, like a high-ranking manager or something, who is a fucking idiot compared to you sometimes, or maybe that's just me who have had some really fucking idiot everyone... At, like I like half of my coworkers more intelligent than the fucking manager we had, and she was just such a I know everything, you know nothing. I'm like God, she was I hated her. <laughs> Anyways, um, so like you have these fucking people who are making the big bucks and everything else, who are fucking jack shit, and they're stupid and they can't, they don't deserve to be making those bucks. Whereas you have these people who are fucking geniuses, maybe that like you know you, the pen, potential to have these fucking geniuses who are in work stuck in minimum wage jobs. Just like that quote. What if the cure for cancer is stuck in the mind of someone who can't afford an education? Now, before you're like, oh, she's just bitching about it, what do you suppose we do? Now, for, if you fail to, to graduate from, co uh, sorry, if you fail to graduate from high school, you can get yourself a, a, GAD, a GED and get tested and all the other stuff to see if you have that intelligence, education, ability level of a high school graduate. So, and I mean, it, 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 so why don't we do that for fucking college? Because with the GED thing, like, you, you, you get told what you're tested on, all this other stuff, and all this other, and um, you get told, you can, the study material, all this, everything. So why can't we do this for college? Seriously. I know I know the reason, but honestly, why can't we have a test to determine someone's actual intelligence and ability? Because, I mean, this goes for work experience, too. How often has it happened that someone has uh, gets their foot in the door for a certain field, they end up getting a little bit of experience because they have a family member or a friend who gets them a job in some field, and they're fucking rubbish at it. Like, they fucking suck. But 
they have that experience to put on their resume, so they'll be chosen over someone who could be absolutely fantastic, like the best worker in that field that's ever been, but they can't get anything because they don't have the experience. You can't get a job because you don't have an experience because you can't get a job. So, why can't we have this thing where we actually test their merit and their ability, their actual intelligence and everything else, instead of it just being whoever has the most connections or the most money gets to be all this. Like, say we have a person who wants to go in a field. You test them um, as just to see where they are in terms of intelligence and ability. And I mean where they are, because if they fail the, the certification, just go like, okay, well, I mean, you didn't get the certification, but you're really close. So, this is how far you, how much more education or training or whatever the fuck experience that you'll need to get at the level needed for the certification. And though you can use the certification you would get from that test, uh, whatever, to get a job or whatever else. That way, we stop having fucking geniuses work in minimum wage and fucking imbeciles work in the high-ranking, important, decision-making jobs. <sighs> things like, uh, I've, I've said this before, but things like class, race, and gender are dictating who gets to make a difference in the world instead of things that actually matter, like talent, intelligence, and ability. It's like, if like, life is literally like those stupid free-to-play games you always see on advertisements before your pirated videos, or around your pirated videos when you're watching them online. Because if you, I, I only really know about them from other people commenting on them, but anyways, if you play, like, you can play it technically, anyone can play it for free, but you can't really get anywhere or do anything, really, unless you pay your way. So life is exactly like that, and it's fucking shitty because the human race is being held ba back so much, and the, the farther we go in terms of, like, ed technological advancement and everything else, the more we're trying to hold the whole the collective population back. For, so, like, everyone's like, oh, where's our flying cars and everything else? Fix the motherfucking system, fix the economy, make it so that anyone can strive and we can get the people who can think outside the box, who have the ideas, to actually be able to do something with that big old brain of theirs, or that big heart of theirs, or that really, uh, their, their way of teaching might be revolutionary, or the, this, that, and the other thing. Why can't we just allow people to do things so that, because the, the whole, we're holding the collective, like, we're, Sorry, I'm just starting to repeat myself a little bit, but it's just so frustrating. So I'm going to end it here before I continue to repeat myself, but uh, thanks for watching.